honestly speaking, the highest quality women that you're going to meet as a passport bro, most likely they're not going to speak English. Mm. The, the best of the best, yeah. they don't speak English. Because if you're a hot girl, you've already won at life. You, what you need to go study a foreign language for, okay? Um, and also, I have a theory that the English language corrupts these girls because once they start listening to English or learning English, mm -hmm. then they start watching like Netflix from yeah. America and they start watching all this like toxic media that comes from the United States. And they start thinking like, you know, they like, oh, well, I want to be part of this culture. I want to like, you know, be accepted by these people. Just like fucking anime nerds like can study shit. And they're like, I just want to be, fucking, you know, Japanese. Japan, yeah. Right? <laughs> they start getting corrupted by the English language. The best girls and the hottest girls. Because, dude, it's, it's, I speak three languages. It is hard to learn another language. It is extremely hard. It takes a lot of effort. And a girl who is hot, I mean, dude, hot girls, like, why would she go study another language when she could get whatever she wants? based upon the number one resource in the world, which is female beauty. Yeah, especially in countries where there's like not a lot of economic pressure to learn a language. So like a place like Japan, uh, they're pretty an affluent country. They're self-sustained. Yeah, like, like, like learning English isn't going to be a big benefit to them. Mm. So when you meet girls that might speak English or like are knowledgeable of the, of the Western stuff, it's actually like a red flag. You yeah. Know what I, mean? I, remember one, I remember one girl that was like trying to impress me by knowing all this american trivia and then before we had sex, she had uh, american flag panties and i'm like what <laughs> you know what i mean i'm like what, girl, what country this is osaka japanese girl oh, oh yeah Lord. and she's one of those girls that goes to all the gaijin bars it, it was gaijin weird Hunter. you know like but the point is point is um you know red flag screening this is another topic yeah that we'll cover it in the course yeah we're, we'll be covering the course because a lot of guys look Look, I'm just going to keep it a thousand with a lot of you guys, okay? And we're all men here, so we're just going to communicate objectively. And you got to take your feelings out of the equation in order to get the best results possible for you. If you're watching this stuff right now, you're probably not that good with girls. And don't take that the wrong way, okay? That's okay. That's why we're here. That's why we're going to help you. But a lot of guys, they start getting attention from girls and let alone women from foreign countries, and they just start building her up to be something more than she actually is. And they're just thinking like, oh, this girl's so feminine. She's so this and she's that. And the reality is this guy's known her for like two weeks. Like you really don't know somebody, especially a woman, until you've dated her for like 18 months. Mm -hmm. Okay, because everybody can fake and put on, you know, a fiasco for a year. But eventually, if there is a mask, the mask starts to slip here and there yeah, the, uh, another big test is whenever you have your first real dispute yeah or real fight yeah because you get to see like how they are in that you know dispute management is a big thing with relationships mm -hmm. like how a girl handles disagreements yeah i mean because if, if 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 her dispute skills or just you know her disagreement skills or dispute management skills are really poor and you have a relationship with her for long term i mean that's like yikes.com big yeah 